All right, in the absence of uh, toilet paper out there, Mary Alice, some have taken to using, shall we say, other items and flushing them down the toilet. It is not a good idea, mm -hmm. and it's already causing problems, according to the director of one municipal sewer plant who spoke with Channel 2's Dave McKinley. What we're talking about is the increased use of things like baby wipes, even paper towels, and it's not creating a very pleasant picture here. And in the bowels of North Tonawanda's sewer plant, the evidence is clear that it's creating a problem. A lot of this is the wipes and non-dissolvable items that come through the sewers. Clogging up screens and increasing potential damage to pumps, one of which has already had to be repaired. We've just in the last four to five days have seen it increase about threefold, about three times. We anticipate that going higher yet. That's if they don't clog up your own pipes, which could cost you hundreds, if not thousands, in repairs. I mean, when you start getting these supposed flushable wipes, they're not really, they say they're flushable, they say they dissolve or biodegradable, they are not. There are better alternatives, some of which you might have at home or might still be able to buy. I would say napkins would be probably preferable and tissues would be okay. And if all you have are baby wipes? I would recommend that if you're going to use baby wipes to, to wrap them up in a plastic bag, preferably, and put them out in the garbage can outside after you're done. I know it's not always pleasant, but it, it would be preferable to the damage that it could cause to your home sewer pipes and to the city sewer pipes. According to what we're being told here, same goes for even so-called flushable wipes. They can cause problems here and to your septic system, if that's what you have at your home. In North Tonawanda, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.